Stay away from me. It's in two mirrors, six feet. You're not supposed to. <laughs> Holy moly, guys, we got some stuff to talk about today because we have Cheaters in Platinum Arena, excuse me, duplicate legendary information, item fact story, maybe as early as next week, all that and more on today's ShamWow commercial. Okay, so Platinum Arena, we gotta, we gotta talk about that. Let's look at this, okay? And if you take a, a quick peek here, you're gonna notice this guy's got 22,330. 30 points. So what is happening here? The next guy's got 9,000 points less to him. That's a, that's a bigger disparity than from people who just started the game into Platinum Arena itself, which is, if we actually look here, what, what's Platinum Arena right now, right? 4,548 points. I mean, this guy's got six times the required points to get into Platinum. What's going on? So if you go into Arena and uh, you have a list here, I'm gonna show you something, okay? And you have a person and you lose the battle against an arena character, okay? So yeah, I go in here, yada, 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 Rodos one-shots me or whatever he's gonna do here. And then I'm like, oh no, I lost the battle. I lose 14 points, he gains 14 points, what have you. And then I can do this again if I wanted to. And every time I do this, okay? Every time I do this, I'll do it again. Every time I'm doing this, I'm losing 14 points. He's gaining 14 points. But something else you should be noticing while I'm doing this is the fact that the person and the list doesn't move. It's the same. When you lose a battle, it's still here. You either got to close the list or get knocked out points, right? So what people are doing, basically, is right in the beginning um, kind of of the game or of, of the arena, let's say. So in 17 hours, the arena is going to reset, okay? Right in the beginning, what they're doing is they're climbing the gold four to get to like rank one and rank two, rank three, whatever. They get it to where only you and your buddy show up in arena, okay? So then effectively what happens is your buddy just does what I was just showing you of attacking you and then just losing over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. I mean, you can there, you can do this, there's no limit. You can just keep spamming it and uh, just give the guy as many points as you want. So there's a few caveats to this. One is you've got to, the easiest way to do it is right when arena opens, you've got to grind, you know, get to the top with like some kind of speed comp or something real quick because everyone gets dumped into go arena. Like in 17 hours, if you watch right in 17 hours when it opens, you're going to see this happen live um, where everyone will be competing and get to the top. And as soon as somebody gets to the top, he's at the top literally permanently because he, they'll just start feeding him. So unfortunately, it's a little bit of a king of the hill situation where once the king's on top, like it, it's kind of over. I don't see a possible way unless it comes down to straight boosting. And this is kind of the other unfortunate part is it's not just boosting that's the problem you have to boost but you also need the tokens so every time you do these guys are these guys are spending tokens you know i mean a, potentially you have to cheat and it's a paywall to cheat because you're and i'm gonna call it cheating because it is cheating um i i don't it's not within the spirit of the game it's enough without in the spirit of the game that i would call you out as a cheater if you're going to do it in the game i don't think that um i mean i don't think taking advantage of like stuff playing left in the game is bad, but when you take advantage of stuff playing left in the game to take away from like other people, like in competition stuff, as opposed to, like to give you an idea, I wasn't using uh, the index glitch when I was doing tournaments. Uh, I did it for like funny screenshot memes and to show you guys the clan boss so I could, you know, do my I'm the clan boss type memes and stuff like that. But you know, I didn't use it to go just on people in in tournaments and steal their rewards you know globally or anything i i didn't do that so i don't like this and i also don't like um i i i don't like it when people are saying well they left in the game so it's you know it, it's player's fault it, it, it it's half player's fault because they did leave in the game they need to fix this this has to be fixed much like any any glitch in the game needs to be fixed immediately um, but th this is also 50% people abusing something that's in the game as well. And you have to pay tons of tokens because the person who's feeding you has to have, you know, unlimited tokens to do it too. So you kind of, you have to go out of your way to do this. And it, it wasn't discovered until, you know, more recently, I suppose, or people weren't doing it because it just wasn't worth until more recently is probably the truth of the matter. But either way, this guy's a good team. So he definitely would have made plan either way. I'm not trying to call this guy out in particular, uh, you know, what it, Per, for me, I don't personally care, but I'm going to call it what it is, okay? So that's that when it comes to platinum tier ranking. A um, little bit of a disappointing situation, but uh, is 
it's interesting nonetheless. Now, 17 hours, am I going to go for platinum? I probably should. I'm only like six, 700 points off or something. I should probably put my real team in here and slowly do the grind. Uh, so you can watch me on the live stream at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction after this video if you would like to watch the live arena grind. So that's talking about arena. Let's move on to the next topic of this video. Okay, now we got to get into sign kind of the uh, important part here which is some of the insider things that I have here, which is one, here's a screenshot of what it looks like. This, people have already seen this, equipped, new, you can select it. This is directly from their in-game thing here. He took a screenshot of it for me, um, which was pretty cool, I thought. And you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, now the artifact sorting he mentioned in the conversation, this is coming in 114 for a fact, not an April Fool's joke, 114 will be out or early April. So we can expect this uh, art item fact sorting. And uh, below this, it's just like speed, strength, et cetera. It's showing the equipped and new because we were asking if you can do the equipped new, but you have like all the all the stats, the substats here and everything. So this is kind of like a Star Wars Galaxy Heroes uh, mod sorting. Pretty cool. Now, uh, something else we want to talk about here is this is going, this is the part uh, that um, you're going to have to pay attention to, okay? Because this is the part that for me is you need to read it between the lines and is uh, the the most concerning for me and I would like to be addressed in the open at some time. So this is uh, in relation to duplicate legendaries. Now, if you are a Massive Well or you have watched Massive Wells like myself, you know very much our largest problem other than like storage and item sorting is that uh, duplicate legendaries are for the most part, completely useless, unless it's the most busted legendaries, you know, duplicate legendaries in the game. There's only a handful of them that are even good in duplicates. Um, and even then it's hard to make them work. And then there's faction wars. So you could argue the faction wars was the content they made so duplicates would work, but I would say uh, no faction wars is, is actual content in the game. It's not the duplicate fix. Now, in terms of duplicate fixes, here's his response to it. He says, uh, let me dig deeper. And I'm not going to talk about the logo. He's responding to somebody about completely unrelevant things. So th just read about this part. Okay. He says, let me deep digger. Oh my God. It, it deep, deeper dig. Let me dig deeper. Jeez. Oh my God. Can I speak? Let me dig deeper into this internal process. All the info I received is divided into certain sections. Info I'm allowed to share with you. Info I'm not allowed to share with you until a certain time. And info about features that are planned or being worked on, I cannot share with you as I'm not allowed to do this. Plus, there is no certain concept of the feature yet. Info about dupes is in the section three. When we, you asked me about the dupes, I've contacted their designer and the reply was, yeah, we're gonna do something with dupes, but we don't know yet what exactly that's the thing. So AKA, uh, let me paraphrase this. What he is saying is he's saying, um, there's three different ways that you can communicate with us. You can tell me stuff that he's allowed to tell us tell us that, hey, I'm not allowed to tell you that. And then you can tell us, hey, that's either being worked on or we don't have a plan yet. He can tell us those things. Okay, he's letting us know what stipulations of communication he has as a PR guy. And, and I, I I think when people get straight down to business and just like, here's what I can say, here's what I can say. Like, I really appreciate that stuff. So this is fantastic. Now, here is where... Um, uh, the concern will start not with the communication. I don't have a problem with this communication. This this is actually clear and concise when it comes from a YouTuber to a YouTube coordinator. This is not only industry standard. This is good. This is the kind of communication uh, that I would like. Um, he's basically telling it, he, he's being as open as he possibly can. You know, he's skirting around NDA stuff. I appreciate that. Now this, so I don't really have a concern with the response as much as I do about this part, okay? We're gonna do something with dupes, but we don't know what yet exactly that's the thing. Now you may wonder, why are you concerned about that? They don't know yet. Let me show you, I have more information, okay? Now, um, I don't like showing DMs. I don't show DMs that people send me. I don't, uh, I don't open private messages. I, I don't leak things that, you know, people tell. I, if you tell me something, I'm going to try to keep it to me unless, you know, there's some kind of like huge game breaking reason that, you know, unless there's something I, for some reason I have to say, I'm not going to really break it apart. But this I think is appropriate to share because one, it's from Cirilla, um, and it's long enough ago, and with the what they're saying, let me just show you, okay? Look, this is from Cirilla. I was DMing her a while ago. Uh, this is 09 of last year. So what, uh, you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, how many fingers is that? September, this is September, nine fingers, okay? In September, I was talking to her uh, about just our accounts and stuff, and I mentioned to her casually about the duplicates. Um, and, and you know, uh, 
here's 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 the thing. We were talking about the Ukraine trip here. I was talking about how everyone's showing it's going to be fun. And I was talking about wanting to get Ranger to come up with a pint and stuff, you know, go have a beer with them. But here's the, this, we were talking about duplicates and I had been asking people about duplicates during this time all the way back um, in September. And I was told in September of last year that they, that they have a plans about duplicates. Um, which seems very indirect to they're going to do something, but they don't know what yet. Well, I'm sure this is why they don't do DMs and they don't direct communicate because, you know, moments like this arise where people like me come up and go, well, what's happening? You said this, but uh, they, have a, they have a way of, of taking forever to do things. And I kind of wish that in this particular scenario, this was one of the things that we're not kind of getting around on. Um, cause it's, it's crucial. It's crucial to the point of like uh, destroying the game in my personal opinion. I don't think it's something that like I'm super angry about or whatever. I just, it's something that we need to have done, um, very soon in my personal opinion. And I really, really would appreciate, uh, absolutely any focus they do on uh, some kind of duplicate legendary system, because this would be massively beneficial to the game. I, I know old time Wells that would come back to the game just for this system. I know one guy that's got seven Draco Morphs. I mean, every every time he spends money, he likes to shoot me a screenshot of his next Draco Morph he pulled. And it's like, I, that's cool, but it's useless. You know, it's completely useless. And so uh, at some point we do need that fixed so that people who want to continue being really dumb and spending lots and lots of money on your game, I mean, we're the people you want. We you want us to be dumb and spend money on your game. So let us do it. It would make sense. That being said, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what your guys' feelings on this is, because there's a couple of topics that are kind of controversial here. You know, Platinum Arena, the duplicate fix, item sorting. Right, item sorting is not controversial. That's coming. Oh, I should say next week. Right. Uh, so item sorting, they said uh, early April and early April is obviously next week. And the item fact sorting, he said, is in there for sure. So 114 supposed to be next week or the week after, and 114 will be in it. Good luck to you guys, and I'll see you on the live stream. I gotta climb this platinum arena. Ah oh boy.